What is up, guys? Today, I'm going to be producing you my favorite Pokemon, Legendary or not. So, let's just go get in and get started. Smash that like button, subscribe, and comment down below if you agreed with me on this. My tablet's going good. I'm using my tablet. And I'm trying to charge it while I'm recording. But I'm using my tablet because my tablet is wider screen, and you can see more. Like, you can see the background of my room, kind of. Yeah, but let's just go ahead and get into this. My least favorite evolution has to go to Bulbasaur because it just doesn't, it's just, no. Like, it could have been a good Pokemon. I feel like the Pokemon company could have made it better because when um, Bulbasaur fully evolved into a Venusaur, it looks like, it looks like a monster, right? But when it mega evolves, where's the di I can't spot the difference between those two. It just looks like its plant got bigger in the back. Like, come on. Mega Charizard. Mega Charizard Y looks the same kind because it has the thorn. But Mega Charizard X, which is my favorite Mega Charizard, comment down below if you have Mega Charizard X too. And he looks way better. That's probably the only reason that the Pokemon Company gave him two evolutions because... He would look better with Mega Charizard X. The thing is, in Pokemon games, sometimes you don't even know what you get out of a Charizard. Because you can get a Mega Charizard X. And you you think you get a Mega Charizard X. That's what I meant. And you get a Mega Charizard Y. I like, honestly like both of the Pokemon, but they're still Charizard. And they're both my favorite Pokemon. So, that's just how it is. My second least favorite Pokemon <coughs> has to go to Squirtle. Squirtle is a great Pokemon. Blastoise is great. World Turtle is great. But I just can't see it. The main series, how come Gary Oak gets to fully evolve Blastoise? But Ash is still stuck with the Squirtle. I, I actually thought that they were all going to fully evolve. Because when I first started watching Pokemon, that's how I thought it was like. I thought it was like, they're all going to fully evolve, and that's all his Pokemon are going to do. Evolve all the time. But actually, no. And I'm going to tell you guys, Tablet's going dead, like I said. It's on 7%. I'm still trying to record for you guys. Like I said, <coughs> <coughs> they could have done better with Mega Blastoise. Because Mega Blastoise just probably has a triangle chin. Like, it's just pointier. And it has, like, a, um, <coughs> a bigger scope so it can pour, out, pour um, blast out his water. I honestly, I prefer the two of them combined. And it has it, like, out of these parts right here. I prefer that. That's, that's my opinion, though. But, guys, mm, my third least favorite Pokemon has to go to... Gigalith. Gigalith? Mm -mm. The Pokemon, I don't get it. Like, why? Is it stuck to the ground? Well, it looks like it's stuck to the ground. Matter of fact, I love Shiny Gigalith. I do. It's a good, it's like, it looks like the Pokemon company tried to make a Shiny look better than its original form. That's sad. Shinies can look great, but they're not supposed to look better than the original form, you guys. You know that, right? Like, you connecting with me? Because, like, that's how I feel. That Shinies aren't supposed to be like that. Like, Shiny Sceptile, I love it. Because my favorite color is blue. And, like, it's blue Pokemon. Like, And when I was playing Pokemon the other day, I saw it and I caught it. Because, like, what is it in Shiny Sceptile? Uh, and by the way, guys... I have um lots of Pokemon games. I have most of them. I only I don't have the um I just don't have red, yellow, blue, and grass. I mean in green. Um I don't know what it's called. Leaf green? Fire red or leaf green, I think. Yeah, I don't have leaf green. I don't have all the ones from Kanto. I'm sorry if my um tablet just fell back. But I don't have all the ones from Kanto, but I have all of them from Heart Gold Soul Silver. I will tell you, my guys, I will tell you, my my favorite legendary of all time 
and it's in the it's on Omega Omega Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. It's the ah oh man, I'm just gonna say, it's the, who's the cover artwork of Emerald? Rayquaza. I love Rayquaza, especially its shiny Mega form. It's a black dragon. It's a black Chinese dragon, basically. But guys, those are like probably my only Pokemon that I don't like. I actually like all the rest of the Pokemon. But this is gonna be number five right here. My number five, not top five. Number five, I will have to give to Sceptile. I chose that Pokemon as my starter in the XY. I'll say I'll call it XY Omega Ruby. But I chose that as my starter. Because Blaziken, Horchick, that evolution line, I don't get in Mudkip. Mudkip's a good Pokemon, but I don't like its mega form. So I got that. Then I got a Mega Sceptile. Then I caught a shiny a shiny Sceptile. So yeah. I had two Sceptiles at the end of it at total. And if you guys have ever seen a shiny Sceptile, I've seen one on Pokemon Brick Bronze because I've played Pokemon Brick Bronze. It might be shiny or not. I think it's the Christmas. It might be the Christmas version. Comment down below and tell me if it's Christmas. It's the Christmas version. It's a white set tile, but I, I like the blue one better because I like both of them. But the player had two shiny. I think it's a shiny. Okay, I think the white is a shiny too, because it looks like it could be one. But guys, number that's number five, and number four has to go to. Superior, or the, if that's how you pronounce his name, Superior. It's 90s, fully evolved form, Superior, if that's how it is. That's how you pronounce it. Superior is just great. Ashes, Snivy is just smart, clever, which is kind of the same thing as smart. And it knows how to fight, because it slapped Tepig into the senses when Tepig had the battle. Trained that I'm banning him. That's kind of the thing. Like, Ash is fire types, kind of. Like, yeah. Um, Charmander's train him, trainer abandons him. When he Ash gets Chimchar, which is probably his next. When Ash gets Chimchar, and when Ash gets Tepig, they all abandon them. Like, what? And then Ash trains them to be, like, great Pokemon. So, like, I don't get it. Like, they call him weak. But then they get him. When Ash gets him, when they get him, they want to be weak, I guess. But when Ash gets him, they go from weak to, like, strong. Like, so strong. And, like, I don't get that part about it. But Servine, the whole evolution line, Servine, Snivy, and Superior, if that's how you pronounce it, that's just a great evolution line. And, yeah. Number three, I already told you guys, it's going to be Infernape. All, 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 all. Praise. We got a monkey fire type Pokemon that's great in battle. And when Ash taught it to Master Blaze, that was amazing. Like, he looked like this. Like, he looked like he was unleashing something. He looked like he was unleashing the beast, which he did. He looked terrifying. He looked like, ah! He looked like a Triple H when he enters the ring. That's what he looks like, bro. Like, Infernape was a beast Pokemon, but he didn't make the number two spot or number one spot. And I gotta reconnect this charger real quick, guys. Keep the camera. I can. But guys, he should have made it to Mega Evolution line. Because Typhlosion didn't get a Mega Evolution, which he should have. Cyndaquil, which is Typhlosion, first of all, form, should have got it. But he didn't. That's the sad part about it. Like, come on. Typhlosion with the Mega Evolution would have been a beast Pokemon. Like, Infernape with the Mega Evolution would have been a beast Pokemon. If you see how he mastered Blaze in that episode, my tablet keeps on wanting to die. If you see how he mastered Blaze in that episode, the only reason I know is because I see clips on YouTube how he masters Blaze. He mastered Blaze like it wasn't nothing. <sighs> Guys, come on. Let's just go ahead and get to number two. Number two, Greninja, the mascot of the channel. 
Ash Greninja was amazing. That's basically Ash's mega evolved form. And my tablet keeps on wanting to die. Ash's mega evolved form. Or Greninja. Because have you guys seen it? It's like amazing. Like he looks just like Ash a little bit from like the face. And like they look so much similar. And like the water shirt kit he uses is amazing for real. Like it just looks amazing. But if you guys have seen X, Y, and Z, my tablet's dying. You guys have seen X, Y, and Z. You will love when Ash got to the bat, like when he got to the ending and had to battle the dude. I forgot his name. But, um, he had to battle the dude, the Mecha Charizard X. That was gonna be a tight one. I actually thought that Ash was gonna win because of Charizard. It's raining in the background. Yeah, it's raining in the background because of Ash and Greninja combining. I actually thought that was going to happen because Greninja was putting up a show for me. Like, both of them um, fighting and battling. That's just amazing. The dude with the Mega Charizard X made the right choice for a starter Pokemon because at the number one spot, we have Charizard. Charizard, the beast Pokemon. Like I showed you guys earlier, I had a base set Charizard. Like I said, comment in that other video if that Charizard is worth a lot of money still, even though it's not a, um, it's a non-holographic. But Charizard, just the beast Pokemon. Like, I'm on the hunt for Mega Charizard X2. I think I forgot to mention that in the other video, too. I'm just, like, amazed at what this Pokemon can do. Like, every time I play through a Pokemon, a Pokemon game, I try to find Charizard, and I actually ended up getting him once. It was my cousin, because my cousin had red and blue. Red and blue, he had, um, he has the base set. What, original Pokemon? He has Kanto. I have all of them from Heart Gold, So Silver, all the way to Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. But guys, that is a beast Pokemon. I actually caught a Charizard. No, actually, no, I don't. I won't say I caught it, because I actually chose it for my starter. Who doesn't want a Charizard on their team? Guys, we're going into legendaries. We're just going to start this number five legendary list with Mew. Like, the Pokemon is great, but thing I don't get, how did Mewtwo get a Mega Evolution? But Mew didn't. Imagine Mew as a Mega Evolution. That would just be great. If that happened. Because, see, Mew's already a beast Pokemon. I could use Teleport. That's, like, it's the best move that Mew can use. And it's cute. I'm, like, it's counterpart Mewtwo. Like, Mewtwo will probably scare my little brother. He actually has. Because when I, um, when I started watching the original series of Pokemon, he called Mewtwo a monster. He was scared of him. If you guys don't know, Mewtwo was, like, in the introductory scene. Like, when you injured, when it introduces some of the Pokemon, when it says, I want to be the very best that no one ever was. Mewtwo actually flies out of nowhere. But at the number four spot, we have Mewtwo. Mewtwo is great. It's a great evolution line. And it's just a great Pokemon. Like, it's a beast. That's all I got to say about it. Bye, Perfume Mega Mewtwo, X Halo. I like both of them. Like, I think... Mega Mewtwo and Mega Charizard are the only Pokemon that has two evolutions. Let's just go on and hit the number three spot. And the number three spot, I had to put Christmas Tree, a.k.a. Xerneas. Xerneas is just a great Pokemon. No matter what. It's just a great Pokemon. Like, it looks like, it's amazing how it looks. It does look like a Christmas tree. Because it has, like, diamonds on its antlers. That makes it light up like a Christmas tree. Actually, like, that's just amazing. That's, like, the best legendary design. Second best legend, third best legendary design. Because the first legend, best legendary design, I have to say, is Ho-Oh. Then Rayquaza, my favorite legendary. And then Xerneas. Like, Xerneas is great. He's just the dope Pokemon. I have the card, actually. If I guys, if I showed you guys in the other video, 
Number two spot, we have Ho-Oh. Ho-Oh in the Pokemon I Choose You movie. He was basically the main Pokemon. But that movie was sad towards the end because Ash had to die. Pikachu said it was because I want to be with you all the time. Because that's how it was at the end. Like, Ash asked him, how and why does he want to be in this Pokeball time? Pikachu said because he wants to be with Ash. How does Pikachu talk? Like, for real? And then Ash dies. Pikachu gets mad. He, like, electrocutes everybody with the Thunderball. He's like, ah! <laughs> He's mad. <laughs> like, yeah, Pikachu, I would understand his pain. If I had a good connection with my trainer that saved me from dying, I, boy, I would have been mad. But Ho-Ho and Pikachu actually get battle it out. And you don't see the full battle. You just see Pikachu thundershock him for a little bit. Ho oh, overcomes it, of course. But Ho oh, is a beautiful design Pokemon. And at the number one spot, you guys already knew it was going to be Rayquaza. I love Mega Rayquaza. I love Shiny Rayquaza. Everything about the Pokemon is just great. Okay? Everything about Rayquaza is just great. Okay? He's great. He's basically based off a Chinese dragon. I love dragons. Wait, wait. A Chinese dragon that's green and black if it's shiny form. If you find him in shiny, he's black. I actually seen one in a in um Omega Ruby and um what you call it? An Alpha Sapphire. I actually seen a Rayquaza. Okay. And that was just a good experience in battling, okay. Like it said, wild a crit, wild Rayquaza. But guys, I'm gonna have to end the video right now because it's starting to get bad in the rating. You guys are just gonna hear the raining in the background. Subscribe, smash that like a button, and comment down below if you agreed with me at the end.